And it's fitting we show you a linebacker as we welcome in a current NFL linebacker, the second NFL linebacker we've had on the show hey, today, go, Harvey Longy and now Sione Takitaki. We're moving from one Fontana guy in Tyler Algier uh, moments ago where's to Jamal another. Where's Jamal Williams? Jamal yeah. Algier, too? <laughs> yeah, where's he at? we got to get him over here. <laughs> so, hey, welcome, man. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me, man. It's a blast to always be back here in BYU and uh, see the guys. Congrats on the new contract, by the way. Yeah, Staying appreciate. with the Browns. This Staying with awesome, the Browns, man. man. It's always good to, you know, to stay where it's familiar, and uh, so I'm happy, man. How do you feel like your role has evolved in your years with Cleveland? Yeah, man, it was a, it's a journey, man. I, I definitely had to be resilient, you know what I mean? I went in there, special teams guy, and had to earn some roles. I was just really young early on, and then, um, you know, just ha having to compete, you know what I mean? They'll bring in guys every year. The GM that, that drafted me, he left. New GM come in. So there's a, lot, there's a lot of moving pieces, but I feel like I uh, stayed stay true to the game and uh, put my head down and work and, and figured it out. But definitely scheme, scheme issues, but had to make it work. I think you have the best hair of anyone in the building today. Let's do it. It's, you it's, know, it's got, frothy in the back, man. I got, yeah, I got the curls going, you know what I mean? Um, couldn't grow it out when I was here at BYU, so it, it's it's funny. The BYU guys always, get, when, once they leave, they always grow out the hair. Everybody, know? beard and beard yeah. and all that stuff, yeah. so. It's cool to, we it's go on cool vacation. We're like, oh, a little, little couple of days. Of face red, <laughs> never hurt anybody. Whatever. Um, don't tell the honor code off. Anyway, uh, do you have uh, any feelings reemerge from your pro day here? Were you a little nervous, anxious for the guys? Or are you confident? No. Yeah. Yeah. When I, I was just telling um, one of my buddies, I'm like, man, when I was here, I couldn't really look around and see how, you know, cool it is to kind of take this all in. So, um, you know. I, I'm a little nervous for the guys because I know how it is, but, man, I'm confident in those dudes that go out there and ball out and, and give it their all, man. So kind of like a game where it's like I'm pretty dialed in. I wasn't looking around. I wasn't mm -hmm. taking it in as yeah. much. Yep, yep, yeah. correct, yeah. Like, man, I remember, like, going through that whole time. It's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of stress. You know, you want to perform at your best, so you're kind of locked in, you're tuned in into to everything you got to do. And then, you know what I mean, so not able to look around, what up, you know, share with the guys, but um, so – did you feel after your pro day like, okay, I did really well, I'm in a good spot, or were you still kind of nervous? Yeah. Still very nervous, you know what I mean? I feel like just that whole process is, can be, you know what I mean? But um, I was confident in what I've done, what I did at the combine and pro day, that, you know, I was in a good spot, but still, man, it's a very stressful, you know, process to be, to go through, and just happy that I'm past it. Until you're drafted? Is that the moment when you kind of let out? Uh, yeah, until you're draft, you know, you enjoy the draft. But then you're a rookie. And then, but then you're a rookie, and, you know, you got a lot on your plate, and you got to go out there and prove yourself. What's it like to compete against other former BYU guys in the NFL? We see all the pictures, the jersey swaps. What's it like on the field when you see those guys? It's exciting. It's exciting, especially when I played, like, Tyler, my guy Tyler. I remember seeing him. Obviously, you know, we watched tape with game plan for certain guys. And I remember my coach coming in. He's like, all right, this rookie right here is pretty good. He runs it downhill. And I remember watching tape on him and then seeing him when we got on the field. I was like, oh, dang, like this is Tyler Algier, you know, the guy that I played with at the Y and uh, trained with. And um, he balled out. I, I think he had 100 yards to get us. He, 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 was, he was a beast. But tackling and them stuff, I was kind of like, what up, bro? Yeah. Like, What's up, man? I was like, get up. All right, shake hands and, then, and keep it moving. But it's definitely exciting, man, and to, and to see the other guys succeed, too. Yeah, how wild cool. is it that he was playing linebacker at BYU, and now you're tackling him, and he's got the, route, the Falcons' rookie rushing record? That's why his name is Psycho T, you know what I mean? Because he was able to do, you know, linebacker stuff, which, you know what I mean? You got to bring the pad, you got to hit, and then and to go to running back, make guys miss, run guys over. He's elite. You Should know. you have been a running back? Is that what we just learned? Right? You know what? I could, I could, have, been, I could have, you know, had some juke moves here and there. Tell the rock. Harvey Long is like, I did play running back. I don't know what you guys are talking he about. He did. He did. Um, more dudes in the NFL from BYU the last couple of years. This has been good to see. Um, what, what does it mean to have more guys like that? Because obviously you want to win games and you have to have talent. But that talent needs to be in the NFL. I'm of the opinion that BYU needs to be in the three-plus draft picks a year game. And this year we feel pretty good about Blake Freeland, Puka Naku, and Jaron Hall. No, yeah, I feel like as the years go on, you know, there's been more guys, like you said. And that's just a testament to the guys, the coach staff, the organized, uh, you know what I mean, the whole the school you know, and where they're trending, you know, for football. So I feel like as the years go on, there's going to be more guys going into the league. And then I feel like, you know, the league is starting to, they've been knowing about BYU, but now, you know what I mean, they've really done their homework and just understands, you know, what BYU brings. A lot of, like, mentally strong, 
you know, dudes, because we got to, you know, we got to deal with a lot, you know, when you're here at BYU. So you're really, you know, above, you know, the standard of a lot of these colleges. So I feel like, you know, BYU guys come going to the league and doing some good things is going to continue to to happen. Position work continues. You just saw Blake Freeland doing a triple jump of sorts as they look at the offensive lineman. That's a thing offensive linemen need now. Tri you got to show an, ex an explosiveness off the ball, right? Uh, or so I'm told. <laughs> How would you explain the atmosphere around BYU football from your perspective right now? Man, it's. I think it's. I think it's at, at its best right now. You know what I mean? Especially going into the Big 12, and um, like I said, I feel like the program is trending in like the right direction with with, with um, you know all, all the above. You know what I'm saying? So. For me, looking from from the outside, man, I, I'm 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 really happy with BYU. And even when I go into the weight room and all that stuff, the nutrition, all the stuff that they got for the guys, man, yeah. it's so elite. And I feel like you know, six years ago, you know what I mean, or however, whenever I was a freshman, but you know, a freshman here at BYU, man, it's just it, it wasn't the same. So uh, I feel like you know, it, it's going to continue to get better. What's it uh, What's it like to see these guys today try and earn that opportunity, and, and then see some guys like Caleb Hayes, uh, 40 inch vertical, 431. Like, I don't know how uh, aware you know the scouts were of him. They were, but like, crazy aware. Like, what can you do today to really get a chance? Yeah, you just got to go out there and put your best foot forward, you know, and really like you know stand out in a lot of these drills. Um, and at the end of the day, man, you put your best foot forward and try and try to get an invitation. You know what I mean? Try to get an invitation undrafted you know drafted something and, and that's when the real work begins man i've seen guys you know who were undrafted who got you know just a camp invite you know over my years and have stuck you know what i mean and balled out in the league so you know i'm i'm hoping these guys just get a chance you know what i mean because that's when you can really show you know the nfl you know the scouts who were kind of sleeping on you uh, what you can what, what you could do when the pads come on and stuff and one of these guys could be your teammate or exactly. multiple who knows if, I've been I've been put you know pushing my BYU guys to the scouts and everybody man I'm, all, I'm biased you know what I mean I'm like dude get, get my guy. dudes yeah so for sure I, I'm hoping Sione Takitaki is with us on BYU Sports Nation do they still play the Takitaki song after every play you make in Cleveland no man I, I got to get with the media team and get that going man because I felt like that was that was pretty legit I remember my time here and them playing that that was, that was pretty exciting. do you have a Takitaki deal the little snack oh like no that. yeah we we did you know we had a little a little deal it was two years ago um but it, it was just a little endorsement that i had to post online yeah you know, you how do you not have this deal That's like, what I'm like you have a unique like, last name check the last name out, guys. <laughs> what, are you guys doing, man? what is going on yeah those things are hot too jeez <laughs> those are fire you know yeah those literally from the gas station i don't yeah. care road trips you know yeah I, yeah I gotta grab those you yeah. know what i mean sione Great to catch up with you, man. Thanks for uh, taking some time with us and, and coming back to Pro Day. Appreciate it. Thanks for having Good me, man. Good to see you. It's always a blast to see you guys. Okay, we just need Jamal, last Fontana guy. <laughs> yeah, where, where's he at? Where's he at? Jamal, where are you at? I'll go oh, give him a call. He's, go find him. He's yeah, actually trading Pokemon cards oh, right now. University of Jamal. Sione Takitaki with this Cleveland Browns linebacker. <laughs>